Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. On the agenda tonight, we're going to be going all flamenco with Charo and this is going to be coming from 1977. So let's get Charo up on screen and see how she gets on. I'm just going to stop it there because there is so much technique with that right hand in flamenco playing and that actually gave a really great angle there just to see the way that Charo actually plays with that right hand is effortless almost the way that she gets such speed with the right hand with this flamenco style it's all in the right hand that's where you spend your time that's where you spend your hours getting that coordination in order to use that thumb first finger second finger third finger in order to get that really fast repetition of strings and just getting them to follow each other so quickly. I play a little bit of finger style but in terms of getting into flamenco to this level it's just crazy the accuracy and the expression. It's that expression in that right hand the way that it's almost like being hit with waves of sound and those waves are slower and faster and it's all in that right hand. How many times have you tried to play finger style and do that little wave technique and if it's ever so slightly off you will not get the same effect so there is years and years of practice in this and in different styles of playing you spend a long time on the left hand trying to get it agile and get more dexterity and then you start to pair that together with the right hand with alternate picking and synchronizing those two together with flamenco it's all in that right hand the right hand determines the emphasis and the emotion of the track that you're playing. Of course, Charo's got great left hand technique as well. We can see that just by some of the runs and the trills that she throws together. But those trills, in order to be concise and clear, they have to be picked with the fingers and the thumb of that right hand. So there is so much synchronization going on here, but now instead of what you'd have normally with a pick, it is now individual fingers that are being synchronized with the left hand. But this is a short video, so let's just watch the last part of it.
And there we go. So interestingly, on that last section, there was a part where she was playing just with the first finger and second finger picking, and she was actually anchoring on the body of the guitar with a little finger. But for the rest of the performance, it was all pretty free. It wasn't anchored on the body of the guitar. So it just goes to show that Charo just changes the technique depending on the passage that she's playing. And I always say this, that people will change their technique and they'll come up with what works best for them. And just anchoring that finger is obviously something that's going to allow her to play that little section a little bit more accurately. Not really well known over here in the UK. From what I've seen reading up, she's obviously well known in the USA, but she was on a show called Love Boat, which I only know the name of because it's on this same channel that Judge Judy is on over here in the UK and it's advertised, but I've never seen it. So I gather that she's done acting as well and was maybe quite a celebrity, but hopefully that didn't actually actually draw away from the fact that she was so talented as a guitar player in her own right. You find sometimes people that have a celebrity to their name, they might not get the respect musically. I've said this before about other people that don't really get the respect that they should do, but hopefully over in the USA, Charo is well respected as a flamenco guitarist. And certainly in Guitar Player Magazine, she's voted as the best twice in a row. So really amazing playing here. And you'd always get this kind of music on Western movies, this Spanish sounding and flamenco style guitar, because the guitar, can express just by itself with this technique you can give waves of emotion through the strings you've just literally got a guitar that is the backing for the scene and it's giving the emotion to whatever the scene is portraying sometimes you had a guy whistling over the top of this flamenco playing but it is such an emotive way of playing the guitar that just turns the instrument into something that just totally doesn't have limits as to what you can emote through it and with different styles of playing I always say that you can use vibrato to emote and change the feeling of what you're playing on electric guitar that's fine you can bend the string up and down slightly and that will give you your vibrato whereas on classical guitar with nylon strings if you bend the string nothing happens you can't really hear that change in pitch so that classical side to side vibrato is what players have to employ in order to get that sound so you'll see the finger just planted in a particular point and then side to side the hand will move. So having said that, all the emotion on classical guitar and flamenco playing comes from the right hand, increasing the speed of those waves of finger picking and slowing down with the left hand as well and using side to side classical vibrato. So Charo, what a personality, but what a fundamentally great flamenco player with all the technique in the world in that right hand and the left hand. So thank you so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at and please keep those suggestions coming in the comments below. I'm going to put the links to this in the description as well so you guys can check it out. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next one. Rock!